Hey y'all. So we're back. Boom. We're on schedule just like that. And today we're talking about hair. I've gotten a lot of questions, DMs. I got an email one time. We're going to be talking about products, tips, all that jazz for this hair. Okay, so numero uno, before we even get to any of the hair products, the pro all that jazz, I am relaxed. Oh my god! I prefer to wear my hair straighter and when I straighten it, I want it to stay straight. And it's easiest for me to maintain this way. So that's just that. That's like, if you was wondering, that's that, okay? I just feel like you should do whatever you want to your hair. Like, it's your hair. Don't nobody have to do that hair but you, girl. If you want to be bald-headed, be bald-headed. I don't care what you do. I get a lot of questions about clip-ins ever since I told you guys that I do use clip-ins. I use clip-ins for fullness, um, not so much length. Like, my hair is naturally this length. Y'all want to see what they look like? Oh, that's what they look like. That's her. And even, like, if I was to take it out, like, I, I could still rock this look without that. I do like my clippings on a thicker side so I don't have to use a lot of them so I do double weft them. Let me just let me stick her back in for y'all real quick. I don't like to take them out. I sleep with them in. Um, I haven't experienced like any breakage, anything like bad happening to my hair because I do that. I also like transition between like if I want four clips in, if I want five, sometimes I'll have six. I have I never have more than six because then I just feel like that's too much. Black castor oil. So I started using oils or this black castor oil specifically in my hair when i was wearing my hair in protective styles for like those seven eight months protective styles only really work if you're actually protecting and caring for the hair underneath i would put this on my scalp twice a week um and i would just coat it let it sit in there it okay it is gonna kind of build up i'm sorry like <laughs> some things happen um, and I would just go through and spray my hair down with hot water and uh, tea tree oil um, and that would kind of help like release some of that Ooh, that threw me off. Um, basically, just <laughs> put your tea tree oil in there and it'll kind of release and cleanse out some of that buildup that you have. One of the benefits that I saw from using this tea tree or this black castor oil was that my hair got so thick. Typically what I'll do is like Friday night, I'll um, take all my clippings out, I'll comb through my hair with a white tooth comb. It feels oh, amazing. And then um, I'll go through and put this black castor oil all over my scalp. Um, try to get one with a dropper because black castor oil is super thick so I don't really like to touch it and then I throw it in a ponytail sleep with it overnight and then later on on Saturday I'll go ahead and wash my hair. This is the Paul Mitchell Smoothing Super Skinny Relaxing Balm. Now this is not a relaxer so if you're natural and you want to try this I would definitely recommend it. I do four full pumps of this in my hand, rub it together and I rub it all throughout my hair. I comb it through with a white tooth comb and then I blow dry. The thing I love about this is like when I blow dry my hair, it adds like an extra smoothness on there that wouldn't be there if I didn't. And it also doesn't leave any type of buildup or film on my hair. I know y'all are sick and tired, sick and tired of hearing about this. This is a uh, Viral Silks Silk Therapy. I know they have different versions of this. I've never used any of those. I've only used the original. I put this on my hair when it's dry. I do not put it on my hair when it's wet. All the directions say you can do that. I don't recommend it because I've tried it and I did not like how my hair came out. If you don't like this product, nine times out of ten, it's because you're using too much. Okay, let me demonstrate by what I mean. I take this much. I don't know if y'all can see that that's how much I take for my entire head once my whole head is blow-dried I use only this much for my entire head and I don't even go on just like this I rub my hands like this for until my hands start to feel warm and I feel like that's kind of activating it like until my hands start to feel warm until I can in it and until I can smell it now this is what my hands look like this kind of just looks like I have like I don't know like some lotion like or an oil or something on my hands but I rub it into my hands look like that and then I rub it all over my hair I'll go ahead and put this in right now Let me rub it a little bit more and then I rub it all throughout my hair um, and that's all that you need for to get the shine that you want 
um, and to get that smoothness that you want when you're blow drying your, or when you're straightening your hair. That's literally all you need. And how do I sleep with this hair? It's actually super easy, y'all. So I can't wrap it. I'm not wrapping it in a circle. One, because my waves, like in little curls things I have going on here, wouldn't stay. They would flatten out. And two, I can't really do that with clip-ins because them things would be pulling, tugging, all kind of which ways. And I'm not trying to yank no clip-in out in my sleep, no. Okay, so I just, um, I use a regular scarf. This is my scarf that I got from the beauty supply. They have tons of them. They usually be a dollar. I'm always gonna start with my hand like this and I feel like this is like the best guide and way I can show you. I start, bring my thumb in like right here and I just take the small section. I don't really worry about like what clip-ins I'm grabbing where, that doesn't really matter. I'm gonna come. One thing that you wanna remember and always try to keep note of is like where your hair curls and where it bends so like you see like we kind of have our bend starting up here it's a faint one but it's a bend and then we have our final bend down here um so this is the best way i can explain it you're gonna take your hand your opposite hand on the other side of your head after you come through the, your top section here i grab it with this hand and don't just clip it back like this. If you clip it back just like this flat, it's gonna kind of, you're gonna get not really like waves or curls, like you see how your hair is curling. It's gonna kind of just be like, mm, mm, mm. it's just gonna be flat and it's just gonna, it's gonna be flat looking like this. I don't want that. I want it to have a, a curl. I'm gonna take my hair back like this and what you're gonna do is kind of twist it on top of itself and then pin it back. And I use these little clips that I get from the beauty supply store as well and clip it back like that. So you want it to kind of be like a little bump right here and you see how like your curl right here, the end of your curl is kind of fanned back now. That's what you want. Then you're gonna keep going like that. Um, but so for our next section, we're gonna take our thumb again and I just try not to make my sections bigger than like my thumb width length whatever um because then it's like too much for the clip to hold um i'm gonna take another section of hair paying attention to and notice is that the end of this piece up here we are clipping it up with this hair down here that is just to make sure that like all of your hair gets clipped up so you don't want to do one of these where you leave this hanging out and then you just clip this up in the back because then this isn't gonna finish the wave it's not gonna fish the wave up here and it's also too because you're clipping these two pieces together it's gonna help your hair kind of like blend together it's gonna help the waves and the curls kind of curl together so you're gonna do the same thing take your hand over here and you're gonna kind of twist it back on itself and clip it again I don't really care about where the clips are where I'm clipping it this one requires two clips because it's a little bit thicker there you go so you see how we have these two this hair clipped back like this and then i would just keep doing this all the way so i'll grab this clip this back like i would just keep clipping all the way around my head um and that's how i do it and then i just tie my scarf down on top of it don't worry about if um it feels like it's flattening it that's why we added that twist in there um because if you add the twist it doesn't matter if it's flattening it it's still gonna come out with that spiral effect okay so that's it i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope it answered all your questions and i will see you next time